All right, this first question asks us to find an equation for the tangent to the curve at a given point. And we have y equals 16 square root of x, and our point is 432. So I know if I want to find an equation tangent, then I'm going to need my y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where I already have my x1 and y1. I just need my slope. And to find the slope, I just simply take the derivative of 16 to the square root of x. So I can pull that 16 out front, and then the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square roots of x. So that becomes 8. And I can also plug in my value for x. So I get 8 over square root of 4, or 8 over 2, or my slope equals 4. So now all I have to do is just plug all these values into this equation. So y minus y1, which is 32, equals my slope, which I just found and then times x minus my value of x1. And I mean, you could solve it for y if you want to, and you'd get 4x plus 16. All right, so in question two, it asks you to calculate on part A, to calculate the derivative for f of x equals 5x plus 9. Well, the derivative of 5x would be 5, and the derivative of 9, a constant, would be 0. And then it said to give the value of the derivative at x equals 2. Well, because this is a constant, then the value would just be that constant. Part b, we're given f of x equals 5x plus 3 over x. So the derivative of 5x, again, would be 5. The derivative of this one probably would be easier to write like that. And so you would see you'd bring the minus 1 down. So you'd have negative 3 to the x to the minus 2. Well, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on the bottom. And then the second part is to evaluate it at negative 2. So I simply plug in a negative 2. And I get 5 minus 3 fourths or 17 over 4. All right, question number three, here is part A, is to find the first and second derivative for y equals 6x to the fifth over 5 minus 3x plus 8e to the x. Well, the first derivative, I would bring the 5 down, so I'm going to just put that 6 out front. I would bring the 5 down and then subtract 1, and then the second derivative I would just have negative 3, and then if I bring the 8 out front, remember e to the x, the derivative is e to the x, so as you can see that cancels, 
and I end up with my first derivative equaling 6x to the fourth minus 3 plus 8e to the x. I want to take the second derivative, so I bring the 4 down, so 6 times 4 is 24, subtract 1, the constant, negative 3, becomes 0, and then plus, bring the 8 out front, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. All right, here is part B of question number three, where we want to find the first and second derivative for this equation. Now, my only comment on this is some of you tried to bring the four and the five to the top, and you can't do that because this is really written, I could rewrite it like this, And so the only part that you can bring to the top are the s's. So that's how you can rewrite this as s to the negative 3 over 4, and then minus 6s to the negative 4 over 5. But some of you guys tried to bring the 4s and the 5s to the top, and that's kind of what got you in trouble. All right, so now if I take the derivative, I just bring down negative 3. I subtract 1, leave the bottom alone. Here I'm going to bring down a negative 4, so that negative 4 and that negative sign make a positive 24. Subtract 1. And I could make this look a little better. Minus 3s to the negative 4 over 4. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I said make it look a little better and I didn't change anything. Meaning I could rewrite this with the exponents on the bottom. Wasn't necessary, but just something that if you wanted to, you could have written this way. So either way. So now I want to find the second derivative. And when I find the second derivative, I probably would want to look at this one because it would make it a little easier. So I bring down the negative 4, negative 4 and a negative 3 is a positive 12. Subtract 1. Bring down the negative 5 times 24. So 120. Subtract 1. And once again, I could write this first one as 3, because this of course would become 3 over s to the fifth. I'm just bringing the exponents to the bottom. And then minus, that actually cancels to become 24 s to the sixth. 